Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Just Studio, and today I'm gonna share with you how to clear up your DaVinci Cache File folder to save up some hard drive space. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve now we're on the edit page and here uh, over time when you're working on different projects, for example, here I'm bringing some titles and I'm generating some optimized media and I'm gonna render some uh, fusion output effect. Over time, all those cached files add up and start to just take more and more space on your hard drive. So I'm gonna share with you how to delete them if you don't need them. So first we're gonna see how to delete them at a project level and then how to delete them all if uh, that's what you want to do. So at a project level here you can go over to playback and here you have delete render cache so you can choose all which will delete the render cache of the entire project you have unused which will delete only the one that are unused in your timelines and then you have also selected clip so you can do that by just selecting here the clip where you want the cache file to be deleted and then you can just take selected clip so that will be an option now if you don't want to do that for each project and you just want to both delete you can just go directly to the folder and delete those files from there. So to localize the folder, you want to go here in DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, and then here in Media Storage, you will basically have the file path where uh, this folder is located. By default, that should be located on your computer, but here, if you want, you can switch that to an SSD, for example. So you can just uh, click it here and then remove it and add another one. So here, click Add if you want to add it and just select the folder on your external hard drive. Then it's save and you will be set. That will be the storage location for all the projects in your database by default. So if you want to change it on a project basis, you can just go here to setting and here you can just scroll down and here you can just switch that right there. Cache file location, you can just browse and here uh, just change that cache file location for that specific project. If you want, for example, to keep everything within one hard drive for a client or whatever the case might be, you can just do that right there on the project to project basis. So now if you want to delete all your cache files, again, just just remember the file path of where your media are stored and then you can just go to that folder so in my case that will be j movies cache clip and here you will have basically all the folder of all the cache clip media if you want to identify which folder is which here you have a little info text that you can uh, click and which just tell you in which database it's stored uh, what username and the project name so if you want to be a bit more selective on what you delete and what you don't delete uh, depending if uh, there is some active project or non-active project you can do that right there and for the optimized media you will have the same thing here uh, in an optimized media folder so right now i just want to delete everything because if i check here the info as you can see now it's 12 gigabyte so for you it might be a lot so if you haven't done that in a while that might be a lot i'm doing this video because i've recently done it and i saved like 90 gigabyte so here i'm just gonna select all the folders and then move it to bin empty my bin and now my cache are gone just a quick note don't worry it's not gonna delete any of your media it's just gonna delete the cache clip so here now if i go back to my project as you can see now they are not cached anymore and they are caching back because it's an active project that i'm currently using so it will rebuild very quickly that way you can really just delete all the media for the project you have archived and you don't use it anymore and you can just rebuild it uh, very quickly for the one that are currently active right now if i go back to the folder as you can see it starts rebuilding here right away for the one that i'm currently using so that's pretty much it just do that from time to time i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.